welcome to the fourth year of our annual, is it up? Of our annual Halloween shorts. I am Turkey Head Zion, and who are you? I am the gay bunny. No, aren't you the fox? I thought we talked about this. Oh. Uh, what does the gay fox say? Ding, 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 ding. Get ding, 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 ding. Your outfit cost $5 and mine cost three. What? Eight bucks. <laughs> Eight dollars. Yes. So. Hey, uh, what, what are you going to be for Halloween? I, well, okay. I was going to be, for yeah. even for the show, I was going to do, it's an online character called Todd in the Shadows. I was going to do Matt in the Shadows to continue my that guy with the glasses theme. Couldn't find a goddamn jacket, a gray zip-up jacket to save my life. So I said, it, and I just wore this turkey head. What about you? What are you going to be? Huh? What are you going to be for Halloween? Well, I lost interest in what you were saying. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be Fred Flintstone. Oh, let me guess. You're going to do a couple's outfit. No, actually, no. Then what's the point of being Fred Flintstone? She's going to be a zombie Snow White. Oh, my God. Okay, so if you haven't seen this before, uh, I'm going to try to put uh, up a playlist of all the Halloween shorts in the description down below. You can check out all our previous years. Hey, you believe it's been four years of this? Wow! Four years of Halloween shorts. Actually, Do you even remember all three of your outfits? Um, three years. No, it's four. We started in 2010. I was Dan the Beast on one. Or, I would, I would okay. I was Dan the Beast on one. Then I was the Nostalgia Critic, and then I was Spooning, and now oh. it's this year. More so on fourth time, not fourth year. Yeah, fourth year. No, fourth time. Fourth year. Fourth year of Halloween shorts. Okay, so what we're gonna do the whole week, we're going to be, uh, and our, our set's getting lazier and lazier as we get bigger and bigger, but we're, that looks weird. <laughs> so he's creating our fog machine. We're gonna be doing a full Ooh. week of Halloween, <laughs> Halloween themed items. Uh, first thing we got here, Chris, what is this? Ooh, these are M&M pumpkin spice. Yeah. These actually look pretty good. I think they're gonna be pretty good, yeah. They created a, a lot of, what are they doing up there? What are they doing? Shut up! All right, so yeah, a lot of uh, miscellaneous items have been coming out, uh, especially like the bigger brands have been having a lot of pumpkin flavored things and candy corn flavored things. So, speak of the devil, this is Blow Pop candy corn flavor. Hey, I'm one of those like freaking like I'm an Asian bunny with those weird moles. <laughs> There's an Asian bunny with a weird mole. What? You, you ever been to the Asian market? And you always get that lady with the. Like, oh, you said bunny. I thought you said you. I thought yeah. you said bunny, but you said person. Yeah. See, I'm not. I'm not Asian. Imagine I'm an Asian bunny. You have like you have a little bit of your bunny lint. Or it was just a piece of, oh god, what is this? It's just a lid from the bunny. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> is it pink? That's, I don't know what it was. That's made for like a five-year-old girl. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But look at this. I look like one of those, like one of those moles. The only thing I, oh, like, and it has hair too. Just take it off, bro. Like, just get it. That's what I want to tell them. Just get it off. It's that easy. Look, if they just freaking just like did this, that'd be good to go. No, I mean, you should keep it on. I'm telling you what I would tell the people in the Asian markets. Like, just get rid of it. No, seriously. <laughs> All right, what do you want to start on first? The Blow Pop or the M&M's? Well, I'll say with the M&M's first. All right. Man, a lot of candy corn flavored things. And pumpkin, of course. Too, yeah, but like, pumpkin spice. Candy corn is all over the place this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, I gotta roast my chicken. What did you take that one out for? Because I want the orange ones. Just have all of them. I want the orange ones. Oh, man, that reeks of pumpkin. Woo, chocolate pumpkin. That's not joking around. All right, here we go. Here we go. That's chocolate pumpkin. Let me show the different colors now. I don't like them. It just makes me want regular M&Ms. Yeah, well, it's like it's. I don't get like the full effect of what Eminem gives you. It's like, oh, here is the Eminem. Then it's like, nope, nope. Pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, pumpkin and spice. No, they're, they're not like horrible. I give them a three, but I much prefer just to have the the regular Eminems. Way better. No, um, I agree. I give it a three as well. Um, I just don't think the pumpkin spice actually works with the type of chocolate Eminems are. It's a great product to sell for Halloween because you know it's a Halloween product and it's Halloween. Yeah. But as a regular item, no. Mm -mm. I think the best M&M's is actually the peanut butter ones. Yeah, oh, of course, of course. Hands down, brother. Yeah, yeah. That's why we're fat. Yep. So, all right, so we're moving on to the Blow Pop uh, candy corn flavor. That's super. Ooh. I don't like candy corn that much. I, I love a, candy corn. Like oh, it. and I apologize to people who try to get in contact with me on Facebook. I have a load of unread messages. I apologize. Wow, you're lazy. I'm not lazy. I, I, lazy I, I work. Lazy side. I work, too. <laughs> 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 laugh at me what a dick all right this looks really cool i like the presentation of it i like the color of it everything about the look is great but yeah will it be good let's do it let's see that is candy corn if you hear a spooky cat in the background that's what it is it's atmosphere that's actually pretty good oh, stop being disgusting what just what do you think of it no let me get I'm, i had i had to get the first layer out of the way <sighs> Oh, 
Okay, well, while he's deep throating it, mm -hmm. uh, that that's good. I, 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 to me, candy corn. The problem with it is the chewing factor. It just after you've had a few, it's like that sugary chewiness. I don't like that. The flavor is always really good. This is like not having to chew on candy corn, but still getting the candy corn flavor. I like it quite a bit. Uh, I would give this one, uh, I'd say, a low four. It's really good. It's not as good as your regular blow pop because regular blow pops are just delicious. But I like it. It's a good gimmick candy. Um, I give this a four out of five. Uh, I don't do that whole low and high shit. Four is a four. When it comes to this candy, wow. the candy corn, you yeah, it, it does taste like a candy corn, and it's amazing. Yes, it doesn't have that chewiness, just like a regular candy corn that some people don't like, mm -hmm. but it does have the flavor, which a lot of people do like, yeah. and it's, it's represented in this blow pop right here. It's getting better and better, too. Mm -hmm. wow. Is there gum in the middle? Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say. I would imagine not. It's like maybe chocolate gum or something. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a chocolate. So yeah, <laughs> smash it with a hammer. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, but hey, there you go, guys. Stay tuned tomorrow for the next part of our Halloween shorts. Oh, God, and we'll see you next time.